in this season, you know, at the beginning of the year, the Lord spoke to my heart that these are the days of fullness for the church. You know, the Bible talks about of the fullness of God's grace. We have of Jesus, the grace that was in Jesus, we have received grace upon grace. And Paul said in uh, Romans chapter uh, 15, that he came uh, in the fullness of God's power. These are the days of fullness for the church. And so I really believe that God is going to pour out uh, a full measure of his anointing and his spirit on the church today, and he has an intention in his heart to bring a revival to Europe. He has not forgotten Europe. He says, though a mother may perhaps forget her child, but God said, I'll never forget you, that you're engraved on the palm of my hands, and he is remembering Europe at this time, and he's going to pour out his glory upon all of Europe, and we will see the glory of God in this land. Many people have written off Western Europe and say, we'll never see God there again, but I I want you to know that the refreshing winds that are blowing here in Romania are going to sweep throughout the Balkans and they're going to sweep over Western Europe and we will see a mighty move of God and the people will return to the days of worshiping and glorifying the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so we need to prepare our hearts. We need to prepare the word of God. We need to prepare the way so that they will come like John the Baptist. He prepared the way for the Lord. We need to prepare the way through our prayers, through our worship, through the lifestyle that we live, we need to prepare the way because God is coming. It is on his agenda. It is on his mind. And I'm looking forward to seeing what God will do in this land and all across Europe uh, in these next years. I believe the next five years are going to be pivotal. That the five years, five is the number of grace in the Bible. And I believe that these next five years are going to be a pivotal time for the church. But we need to be prepared, discerning, praying, and ready for the glory glory of God to arise in this land. Vă investiți în înțeleaptă. Investește în împărăția lui Dumnezeu. Pune o sămânță a credinței în lucrarea Alfa Omega.